Yes, the sound you can hear is the sound of nature. The birds are singing. All of nature is in a very nice mood today, including me. And I hope you are as well. Here we go once again. Yes, we are back together once more live across the Internet. <laughs> Thank goodness for the Internet. That's all I can say. Here we are. English addict. Oh, yes. Live. Don't you know? Right now, live from the birthplace of the English language, which just happens to be England. I can't believe it. Was I really on time? Did I really start my live stream at exactly two o'clock today? I can't believe it. I can't remember the last time I actually started my live stream exactly on time. But I did today, honestly. It might it may not look like it. I got up. This is a true story. I got up very early this morning, half past seven. I started preparing my live stream many hours ago and here I am actually on time I can't believe it I, I'm almost overwhelmed I think I think I deserve a round of applause just for that <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> even the blackbirds agree they are clapping their wings together and falling out of the trees hi everybody this is mr duncan in england how are you today are you okay i hope so are you happy i really hope you are happy today i'm out in the garden once again we are having some amazing weather the birds are singing all around me they sound very happy and i hope you are feeling good as well yes it is friday and for those who don't know who i am my name is mr duncan some of my friends call me duncan some people call me dunk some people call me donut and some people call me that idiot who lives up the road who keeps standing in his garden talking to himself of course those are my neighbors hi here we go again yes i hope you are feeling good i am back once more talking about the english language and of course anything that you want to mention as well it's not just me doing this it's you as well and that's the reason why i do this every sunday wednesday and friday you can catch me right here on youtube live sunday wednesday friday regular live streams and i do it all for free don't forget everything i do i do it for you and it doesn't cost you a penny unless of course unless you want to make a small donation to help my work continue forever and ever and ever i hope so here we are then yes we have made it to the end of the week <sighs> again thank goodness <sighs> yes it's friday <laughs> oh guess what i have in my hand oh. Oh. <laughs> can you see what i have here can you guess what this is i'm not going to show you it just yet but it is something that i feel very excited about we went out last night we went to the local supermarket and i saw something that made my knees tremble with excitement they did they shook they rattled and they rolled what was it 
What did I see in the supermarket last night? Well, of course, it's food. We are talking about food. We all we normally are. If we are talking about my behaviour, quite often it has something to do with food. So I have something here that I bought last night. They are not regular sized. They are giant giant they are a certain type of food that i love eating especially in the morning so i bought a couple of those last night i will be having them later on with some butter so there is a clue but what have i got here in my hand something big something delicious something that you can have for breakfast in the morning but i wonder what it is do you know the big question must be today will the cows come did you see on wednesday we had the lovely cows they came to say hello on the live stream but i suppose the big question today is will they come back will they return today i don't know i'm not psychic i'm not in in touch with the other side so i haven't got a clue maybe at the end of today's live stream we will know the answer to that question i think so <gasps> i have some strange weird words for you today some unusual words that are real they are definitely real words however they do seem a little bit strange a little weird some might say also we will be playing the sentence game the sentence game the sentence game and yes i have designed some titles finally i broke out of my lazy moment to actually make some titles for a game that a lot of people enjoy playing and we will be playing it again today the sentence game for a friday afternoon we are almost at the end of the month may has almost gone where has this month gone is it my imagination can i just ask the cows is it my imagination is it my imagination or has this month gone by very quickly i think it has i think this month has gone by so so fast i can't believe june is just around the corner however it is and there is nothing we can do about it unfortunately hello to mosen oh hello mosen guess what you are first on today's live chat <laughs> oh we had some drama we've we've had a lot of drama in this area would you like to find out about the drama that has happened here yesterday we had our water supply cut off there was no water we had no water to drink we had nothing to flush our poo poo away with in the toilet we couldn't clean our teeth or the insides of our ears or anywhere else for that matter we lost our water supply this morning it came back on however it would appear in this area since the lockdown started a lot of people have been using more water so in this area we've actually had a water shortage because they can't refine or clean the water quick enough because we keep using it you see so that's what's happening at the moment we've had the water supply cut off it went off last night i don't know why i always get a little bit worried even though i can go to the supermarket which is what we did last night we went to the supermarket we bought some water in bottles i also bought my little surprise treat as well do you know what these are any ideas come on don't be shy does anyone know what my little surprise is so we had no water however the water is back you will be pleased to hear that our water supply has returned 
hello Hiroko hello Vitas hello also Francesca Suzika Sujin hello to you hello Richard Beatriz Mika is here as well nice to see you Baptiste Christina Luis Luis Mendez is here today Francesca and everyone else watching on the live stream so many people are here today Mr. Duncan what is the difference between cows and cattle when we talk about cattle that particular term that word describes the general thing so cattle is cows bulls all of the things that are large bovine animals are normally described as cattle so you have sheep and cattle so you know that when you say cattle you mean cows bulls all sorts of large bovine animals cattle 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 rounding up the cattle we have to take them to the next field so that's the reason why that's what we do we call them cattle general word a general word for anything such as cows or bulls anything like that hello to top secret oh top secret you have very good eyesight I imagine you must be watching me in super high quality high definition maybe you are watching me on a on an 80 inch television maybe because you could see what was written on the back of this packet yes you are right I have some giant crumpets look at that so these aren't just usual or regular crumpets these are giant crumpets so that's what I bought last night from the supermarket and I suppose you can imagine I was feeling rather excited about that I did get a little giggly my knees were shaking my heart was beating like a drum it feels like it feels like I have crumpets for breakfast tomorrow which is what I'm going to do I'm having crumpets tomorrow mm, very nice and well guessed a good guess there hello to Andy June is just around the corner of course the June is the name of a month it can also be the name of a girl a girl's name might also be June hello Palmyra I am reading a, an interesting book about 18th century or the 18th century in Russia and the surname Apraxine is mentioned oh I wonder I wonder if Irene is related to anyone well known I wonder hmm. I'm intrigued hello to Miyuki hello Miyuki watching in Japan as well nice to see you here yes my regular live streams three times a week you can find me here on YouTube hello Sergio nice to see you back as well Fayaz also we have the other Sergio we have two Sergios on our live chat it's, it's, it's gonna get very confusing I think very confusing indeed hello also to Zor nice to see you as well mr. Steve has been so busy in the garden he has would you like to see <laughs> I'm sure you won't I'm sure you don't want to see do you want to see it mr. Steve has been very busy in the garden today continuing his work he is doing a little bit of renovation in the garden let's take a look shall we so there is Steve you can see this was about one hour ago and mr. Steve was very busy in the garden doing some renovation work he is laying some concrete slabs I love that word slab a large flat object quite often 
heavy so normally when we say the word slab it's normally something large and quite often heavy so mr. Steve is laying concrete slabs we are making a few changes to the garden what we actually want is a large space you see so that's what we are doing we have removed all of the roses and we are now putting some concrete slabs and there you can see one of the rose beds that will soon be gone so that particular rose bed just like all the rest will soon be gone and you can see there are lots of slabs in this particular area so this is a nice open area it gets lots of sunshine during the summer and we thought it would be nice to do that and there you can see one of mr. Steve's slabs ready to be laid unfortunately <laughs> mr. Steve had a little accident earlier with one of his slabs unfortunately it broke <laughs> as you can see so unfortunately one of mr. Steve's little slabs broke he was quite upset because he had to look for another one in the garden to replace it so that's what we're doing at the moment or should I say that's what mr. Steve is doing at the moment he is doing some renovation work right here in the garden mm. he's been a very busy man the strange thing is this week Steve is supposed to be having a holiday it's supposed to be Steve's little holiday he's having a break away from lockdown <laughs> I don't know how you do that how do you actually have a break from lockdown because you're still locked down when you think about it it doesn't make any sense does it really talking of things that make no sense we have some strange English words coming up soon often on Friday we will have our unusual words and also the sentence game yes thank you for your correct guesses you were all right yes you were right it was a crumpet crumpet I will show the word for you on the screen there it is crumpet so a crumpet is a type of food quite often eaten in the morning for breakfast you often put butter or maybe a little bit of cheese or perhaps some jam and to be honest with you they taste they taste gorgeous they are so nice <laughs> and that is what I bought last night from the supermarket I actually bought extra large crumpets extra large ones look so I have my extra giant crumpets and as it says there it says they are deliciously fluffy deliciously fluffy something that is fluffy is light it is very nice to eat very pleasant to eat something that is soft deliciously fluffy my giant crumpets oh have you ever tried eating a crumpet they are absolutely gorgeous Tamara says mr. Steve is doing a lot of hard work nobody is helping him what are you saying are you saying that I I should be helping mr. Steve is that what you're saying maybe yes well I suppose I I do help him for example I make a cup of coffee for mr. Steve so you might say that that is help I'm helping mr. Steve I'm giving him a cup of coffee that that is help isn't it Mika says nothing is unbreakable you are right not even a large heavy concrete slab even that is easily broken especially when mr. Steve is nearby as we all know mr. Steve has a habit of breaking things he really does hello Pankaj I want to eat one of your crumpets 
another thing i like pancakes as well small pancakes and pancakes are something that you can eat in the morning and you can have them with lots and lots of delicious syrup or some people like to put honey on their crumpets and their pancakes <gasps> Ooh. number one crumpet in the uk yes i think so it says here that <laughs> these are very popular but then i suppose they would say that wouldn't they because they're trying to sell them hello sergio again actually my name is sergey sergey oh i like that in fact i like that because now we can tell the difference between you and the other sergio so maybe i can call you sergey instead hello artsby they are out of date are they really well today is the 29th of may so really they're not out of date you see so it says there best before the 29th of May but of course today is the 29th of May so I can still eat these maybe instead of tomorrow maybe I will eat them tonight ah you see <laughs> to be honest with you I don't really worry too much about these things these sell-by dates so sometimes I will eat food that might be two or maybe three days after the sell-by date so sometimes I will eat food even though it has gone past its sell-by date so best before they are saying that you have to eat these before this date however I'm not going to worry about it because quite often I eat things that have already gone out of date and I'm still here I'm still here to tell the story isn't that nice so thank you Artsby for your for your kind advice hello also to Palmyra hello also to Andy Starr again I like doing that <laughs> I think that might be my new thing extending the last part of a sentence hello fly or d or fly or die crumpets don't inspire me but are they really good they are good they are very nice with butter so normally you heat them up so you apply some heat you heat them up you put some butter on top maybe a little bit of honey or maybe syrup or perhaps a little piece of cheese and then melt the cheese on top they are absolutely gorgeous trust me Awuwa Awuwa says how much did these cost can you believe these were just 79 pence so not very expensive so these giant crumpets you get two in the packet 79 pence not bad I think that's quite good value to be honest when you think about it especially these days because a lot of people here in the UK have been complaining about the prices in certain supermarkets and shops some of the prices have been increasing quite quickly Emilio Mr Duncan is a really funny teacher your class is peerless thank you Emilio that's very kind of you to say some people say I am weird some people say I am strange unusual eccentric to those people I always say I am not eccentric you are boring that's what I normally say so if anyone ever calls me eccentric I will say that that I'm not eccentric you are boring <laughs> hello also invisible person hello invisible person I can't see you at the moment unfortunately because you're invisible maybe that's the reason why anyway a big hello to you in Germany Namasta says Vinja Vinay Vinay 
Raj Rajput. Nice to see you here. You here? Shilpi says, I like your background, especially the cows. Well, so far there are no cows. However, there are two pigeons. Can you see the pigeons? There is one pigeon and there is the other pigeon. So there are actually two pigeons watching my live stream. They are today's special guests. So there is pigeon number one. Hello. And there is pigeon number two. Hi there. One is a female and one is a male. And I think maybe later on they might be getting together to have some pigeon love. If you get my, what I mean. If you get what I mean. Rosa says, I'm sorry I'm late. Don't worry. As I always say, better to be late than never. That's what I say. Let's have a little look in the garden. Last night, as the sun was beginning to set, I went into the garden and I filmed some little bits of video. And then I edited them together with some music. And now I'm going to show them to you. I hope you enjoy them. you enjoyed that a little video clip that I filmed last night in my garden and I thought hmm yes ooh, I will edit that together and show it on my next English addict which is of course right now that's what we're doing you see that's what we're doing right now we are now live at 25 well it's coming up to 24 minutes no 26 minutes away from <laughs> three o'clock does it really matter what time it is does it really matter I don't know really but to me it's quite important especially if I'm in a hurry if I'm trying to get something done a very nice flower garden there are lots of flowers in the garden however I do have a slight problem in that I don't know what the names of most of the flowers are so one day I am going definitely I said this yesterday to Mr Steve I am going to go around my garden and I'm going to find out what all of the plants are called so I will do that maybe not next week but maybe the week after I will do that I'm going to go around and try to find out what my plants are called what about you are you good at plants are you good at naming plants or recognizing certain types of flower I'm not very good at it I'll be honest with you I do like looking at the flowers but I'm not very good at naming the flowers unfortunately hello Lewis hello also to oh Lena hello Lena nice to see you back again nice to see you back hello also to Silet thank you very much for your lovely compliments about the garden we are going to take a look at some unusual words the English language is made up of many strange words 
some of the words are very hard to pronounce some of the words are very hard to find the definitions for so sometimes you might find that you see an English word but maybe you don't recognize it maybe you think perhaps it's not real maybe it isn't a real word after all let's have a look shall we let us have a look at some English words and these are all real words I promise they are not fake words <laughs> they are not made up they are not from my one of my hot fantasies I had a very strange dream last night by the way very strange dream I won't tell you about it now but it was a very strange dream I seem to be having dreams with two particular themes that rhymes is that nice isn't it nice when that happens when you were talking and accidentally two of the words in the sentence rhyme so some of my dreams have particular themes and both of them refer to my past so my early life it's very strange that isn't it I don't know why dreams are very unusual things anyway enough about my dreams let's have a look at today's first strange word here it is shifty this might not seem like a real word yes it is a real word I can guarantee 100% it has Mr Duncan's stamp of approval as being a genuine English word <laughs> shifty shifty it means to have a look around you have a look around maybe you go into a room and have a quick look maybe you are searching for something you are looking for something you are trying to find something in a particular place you will have a shifty shifty it is a real word it is often used in British English so you might have a little shifty a little look around you are searching for something I will have a shifty I will have a little look I will move around and look quickly you are searching for something but perhaps you are in a hurry maybe you are looking for something in a hurry maybe you have a restraint or constraint of time maybe you only have a little bit of time to actually search so you have to have a shifty you have a little look around a very quick look you search quickly you have a shifty there it is beep, beep, beep. that is the word summer is just around the corner it is you are right no doubt about it here is another strange English word however it is a real word low down low down maybe you have some information about a certain thing or a certain piece of information that another person does not have you give them the lowdown you give them the information you inform someone you pass on information so the lowdown is the information the things that you want to tell someone about I will give you the lowdown of Mr Duncan's new relationship something like that or maybe my new neighbors maybe my neighbors have moved out and some new neighbors have arrived later I will give you the lowdown on my new neighbors the lowdown you are giving the information 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 you are having a shifty I like that one shifty can also be someone who is curious maybe but normally in British English a shifty is a quick look you are searching for something I like the way the pigeon is still there look the pigeon is still there I think the pigeon is trying to get the lowdown trying to find out what is happening here I think so isn't that nice I will give you the lowdown on my secret I wonder what the secret is I am intrigued to find out 
here's another one oh this is interesting so we just had the low down and now we have down low if you do something on the down low it means you do it in secret you are doing something that other people don't know about you are doing something secretly in a secret way without other people finding out you are doing it on the down low quite often used in american english but you you do find it used in many types of english including british english so to do it on the down low is to do it in secret he is doing it on the down low maybe someone is having an affair maybe the neighbor is having an affair and they are doing it on the down low they are doing it in secret without other people finding out that it's happening mm. you do it on the down low I like that word it's a good one it's a good word it's a, it's a, that's a robust word a strong word if you are trying to keep a secret you will do something on the down low here's another word this is a word the word I'm about to show you is a word that is often used these days when people are complaining about their favorite movie character or TV character so recently we had Star Wars is a good example people have been complaining about the retcon of certain characters in Star Wars and also Doctor Who as well because a couple of years ago Doctor Who became a woman and a lot of people became quite angry about that they say no you can't you can't retcon Doctor Who but what does it mean I will tell you the word retcon retcon or retcon means retroactive continuity so you are changing the character or maybe you are adding things to a character in a story you are making changes to that character that have already been established in the past so perhaps you are rewriting or changing the characteristic of a certain character in a story tv show or movie you retcon that character you apply retroactive continuity so there is a word that is often used when people are complaining about their favorite tv show <laughs> or their favorite tv character that has been changed some people get very angry about that sort of thing me no i don't get angry about that not at all here's another one we are looking at strange english words on a friday afternoon live from england ah gelatinous oh i like this word gelatinous gelatinous is a great word it sounds weird it sounds strange unusual maybe gelatinous something is gelatinous it means it is like jelly it has the appearance of jelly it is solid but also it is liquid so quite often when you make jelly quite often it will be like liquid but then it will set it will go hard however it will still be soft it will still move around freely gelatinous gelatinous it's a great word something that appears jelly like so of course you could have jelly which is a type of dessert something that appears like jelly such as jam can appear like jelly it is gelatinous gelatinous I like that word a very strange word indeed something that has the appearance of being like jelly 
sticky something sticky can also probably be meant be named as gelatinous very interesting here's another one if you are constantly complaining to someone or maybe you are constantly asking someone for something you will browbeat them browbeat you pester you complain you browbeat them you won't stop doing it you are browbeating another person you won't stop asking a question or maybe you won't stop making a request to someone please please stop asking me the same question please stop asking me if I want to go on a date with you you keep browbeating me please stop it stop it <laughs> Charlie says silicon might be described as gelatinous yes I think so silicon is a very interesting substance it is very soft but also it's quite strong and flexible gelatinous I love that word <laughs> hello to I'm just making some corrections here on the live chat hello Hussein I like to make gelatinous mango juice oh I actually made I made it this morning gelatinous mango juice can I just say that sounds absolutely delicious I want to eat some mango now you've made me think about mangoes I want to eat some mangoes I like gelatinous sticky and gummy textured stuff too one of my favorite meals as a child was jelly jelly and ice cream we would have those two things together they go together very well in fact can you eat jelly yes you can it's a type of sweet it's a type of dessert of course there are other things that have the name jelly such as jellyfish you can't eat those they are quite dangerous animals jellyfish but they also have the appearance of jelly they they appear gelatinous gelatinous I like that word so the word browbeat if you constantly ask someone for something you constantly complain maybe you browbeat someone you are trying to make them change their mind you are trying to beat them into submission you browbeat someone yes here's another word and can I just say the following word does not mean a stupid person it does not mean stupid person <laughs> but I can see why you would think that I would I can see why you would think that was the case the word is oxymoron oxymoron hmm. a very interesting word this is a real word definitely 100% real word oxymoron quite often in English if a person uses two words in the sentence that are almost opposites of each other however you are using those two words together we can say that that is an oxymoron for example honest politician some people might say that those two words are oxymorons they do not relate to each other in any way oxymoron honest politician <laughs> I'm just putting that out there I'm putting that out there I'm not making any any opinion I'm not giving you any opinion but some people might say that the words honest and politician should never be used together <laughs> they are an oxy an oxymoron <laughs> oh dear me uh, 
Mm. He was browbeaten by robbers. Well, I suppose in that way, maybe not beaten, perhaps, but maybe not browbeaten. Artsby says, Jelly, does jelly have alcohol? Well, you might be surprised to find out that you can put alcohol in jelly. So when you are preparing the jelly, you can put a little bit of alcohol inside as well. So some people like to have their jelly alcoholic uh, with a little bit of alcohol inside. So, yes, you can. However, I do not like alcohol jelly. I like my jelly with lots of fruit and lots of natural flavor, to be honest. So there it was, oxymoron, two words that are used together, but they really don't match or suit each other. They are being used as a description. However, they should probably not be used. Some people might see it as an oxymoron. I like that one. Here's another one. We are looking at some strange English words and then we are having a break for a little bit of full English and then we will be back here's another one ah this is a hard one to say I wonder how many people out there can actually say this word can you say it can you say this word peripatetic peripatetic what an unusual word Mr Duncan I will say it again peripatetic peripatetic a person who is peripatetic is a person who constantly moves around they never stay in one place they are always moving around a peripatetic person is a person who moves around they never stay in one place they like to move around you might describe them as a nomad I suppose their habits their ways of living they never stay in one place they are peripatetic they are always moving around they are going from one place to another they never settle down they always move around they are peripatetic I like that word <laughs> arts be Oh, very good. Artsby has given a very good oxymoron. Healthy cigars. No, you can't have that, can you? There is no such thing as healthy cigars or maybe healthy cigarettes. There is no such thing as healthy cigarettes. So if you used those words together, you would say that you have an oxymoron pretty good thank you very much for that Mika says thank you for your information about the sunset I think maybe that is a message for Diana here in the UK do you know during the height of summer the Sun does not set until around 10 o'clock at night so as we move towards the middle of summer, the days here in England become longer and longer and longer. And at the height of summer, so the middle of summer is on the 21st of January. No, not January. July. I was near. So on the 21st of July, it is mid-summer. It is the summer equinox. And at that time, the days here in England are very long. So normally it is still light at 10 o'clock at night and sometimes even 11 o'clock at night. So before midnight, you can actually still see light in the sky. So we only have around four or maybe five hours of darkness during the summer months. So night here in England is actually very short during the summer months. We only have around five hours or maybe four and a half hours 
of darkness so as you go to bed if you go to bed very late at about two o'clock in the morning you might also see the sun already starting to come up <laughs> as you go to bed so yes we do have very short days here in England during the summer months very short nights and very long summer days and that's one of the reasons why many people at the moment are trying to enjoy this summer this beautiful weather that we are having at the moment is incredible you might have a peripatetic teacher <laughs> yes in the past I used to travel around quite a lot I've been to many places so maybe in the past when I was younger I was much more adventurous some might say I was peripatetic I would move around quite a lot hello to Stanislav nice to see you here so peripatetic is to move around you never stay in one place here's another one oh here's another one pernicious pernicious yeah. pernicious is a negative word we are describing a type of behavior a pernicious person yeah. uh, mm. someone who is pernicious oh apparently the longest day is the 21st of june i was still near it starts with J so first of all I said January then I said July but it's in fact the 21st of June we will leave it there shall we I will have a little cry in the corner of my studio later hello also to Artsby but in London it's like here it must be like that in Birmingham and also London it is very hot around 30 celsius today the weather is very nice you may have seen the view at the start of today's lesson yes it's lovely here we're having some amazing weather even though some people are becoming quite frustrated because they want to go outside but they can't pernicious is a word that means nasty spiteful mean you are a pernicious person oh why do you have to be so pernicious pernicious mean-spirited nasty spiteful your 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 way of treating people is not good you have a very spiteful mean nasty way of treating people you are pernicious finally we have one more and then we will be taking a break as we approach three o'clock here in the UK here's another one Buncombe <laughs> it sounds like my name but it isn't <laughs> maybe this could be another name that people might give me in the future instead of Mr Duncan they might call me Mr Buncombe Buncombe that's an interesting word it is real for those who are wondering yes all of these words are real words Mr. Duncan, you are exaggerating with these new words. Am I? Am I really? I'm not sure about that. I don't think so. So here is bunkum. Bunkum. <clears throat> Something that is false. Something that is not true. A person who is telling you something, maybe they have their own opinion about a particular thing. However, you don't accept it. You don't believe what they are saying so you might say you are talking bunkum what a load of bunkum so it is nonsense you are talking nonsense what you are saying is rubbish it is not true it is not to believe be believed you shouldn't believe it because it is bunkum bunkum I love that word it sounds a little bit like my name so maybe in the future people might say oh look there's Mr Buncombe how dare you 
how dare you as as Greta would say how dare you yes indeed you tell them Greta you tell them give them a slap for me thank you very much thank you very much so there we go bunkum it is a real word it is used in the English language it means something that is false fake can't be believed it is nonsense nonsense <laughs> fly or die asks mr. Duncan are you pernicious what do you think do you think I'm a pernicious person I don't think I'm pernicious in my life however I've met many pernicious people spiteful mean people <gasps> look at the time everyone it's three o'clock here in the UK and now we are going to take a look at one of my full English lessons an excerpt from one of my many English lessons that exists right here on my YouTube channel and then after that we are going to have a chat and we are going to play the sentence game all of that coming up right after this hi everybody and I mean everybody and welcome to another full English lesson I have so many things to show you today we have no time to do the introduction you might say that I'm pressed for time I'm working against the clock I'm on a tight schedule I don't have much time so without any more hanging about let's get on with today's full English lesson which will start around about now what is the hardest part of learning English is it the learning of new words maybe the grammar used in English is what leaves you the most confused perhaps you feel too shy to use English in front of other people learning anything new can be quite daunting you might feel intimidated by all the new words all of the grammar rules and even after you have mastered those then you have to use the language with other people I think it would be fair to say that speaking a new language for the first time might make you feel nervous but there is no need to fear as this is completely normal if you want to improve your spoken English then why not practice doing it by yourself speaking in front of other people can be very scary so first of all you need to get used to the idea of doing it it may seem like a strange thing to do but practicing in front of a mirror is a great way to build some of that initial confidence get used to your own mannerisms and ways of showing what you are saying facial expressions and body language are just as important as the words you are saying conversation relies as much on eye contact and body movement as the things being said if you happen to have one of these wonderful devices or one of these wonderful devices then you are well on your way to improving your vocal technique using a recording device can help you to get accustomed or used to the sound of your own voice it might feel a little strange hearing yourself at first but after a while you will begin to enjoy it and your confidence will slowly build I suggest you start off with some simple words and sentences and as you listen to the sound of your own voice you will be able to hear where there may be some problems one common problem which can arise concerns the speed of your speech there is no need to rush what you are saying give the listener a chance to hear your words of course you must also speak clearly so don't rush and don't mumble once you feel confident enough you can move on to speaking with other people 
Get a few of your friends together, or members of your family, or even your classmates to listen. This will allow you to get used to speaking in front of other people, and over time, your confidence will grow. If you have no one to practice with, why not join an English language group? If there isn't one, why not create your own? It's time to take a look at another buzzword. A buzzword is a word or phrase that is popular during a certain period, or is often used generally. Today's buzzword is... Publicity stunt. The phrase publicity stunt refers to an action carried out to gain attention whilst creating public reaction. To perform an action or say something for the sole purpose of creating attention, which in turn creates publicity for those responsible, is a publicity stunt. The attention sought can be either good or bad. Even bad publicity can generate business. An outrageous comment or an action that provokes criticism might in fact be nothing more than a publicity stunt. Of course, not all attempts for attention are bad. A promotion for a new movie or a message posted on a billboard that creates confusion or intrigue might also be just some very clever publicity stunt. The main purpose of a publicity stunt is to gain as much attention as possible in as many ways as possible. The word publicity describes the action of promoting a product or an event for commercial gain. The word stunt shows that the thing gaining the attention was planned and choreographed for the purpose of publicity. I hope you enjoyed that you were watching some flickering images that was one of my full English lessons some excerpts from full English number 35 we are now back live <laughs> We were talking about the word gelatinous. Well, guess what? I found something in the kitchen which can be described as that very thing. So there you see, there is some marmalade. And you can see the appearance of it is gelatinous. It looks like jelly. So in that respect, in that instance, we are describing this as jelly-like. It is gelatinous. There are many types of food, especially in Asian cuisine, where you might find the word gelatinous used. I remember when I was in China, we had gelatinous rice, very sticky, sticky rice. And quite often they would call it gelatinous rice. So this particular thing I've got here is actually marmalade marmalade something that you will often have for breakfast and of course marmalade goes very well with crumpets Ooh. so i think i think it is safe to say tomorrow morning i'm going to have some marmalade on my big giant crumpets we are with you live here on YouTube. It is Mr. Duncan. That's me, by the way, talking to you live from the birthplace of English, which just happens to be England. Thank you very much for joining me. We are going to be playing the game that a lot of people seem to like at the moment. We do seem to like playing the game that we are going to be playing very soon. However, did you see... Well, I suppose you did see it, but then maybe, maybe you didn't. Maybe you have no interest in that particular subject. SpaceX. Did, did anyone see the attempt to take off last night? Did anyone see it? Did anyone see the SpaceX rocket 
it was supposed to be taking off not last night the night before sorry about that but did anyone see it I was sitting watching for two hours waiting for the rocket to take off and in the end it didn't take off I was a little bit disappointed I'm not going to lie to you <laughs> I was I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to see the rocket take off however later that night I went outside and guess what I saw I saw the International Space Station going over my house in fact I, I, I have it on good authority someone has told me that in a moment the International Space Station is going to go over my house in around about five seconds from now five four three two one here it comes oh is that it is that it that's it I was waiting for the International Space Station to come over and that was it three seconds that's all I get <sighs> okay anyway they are going to try to launch the SpaceX rocket on Saturday so they cancelled the liftoff the launch and now they have had to to postpone it and they will be having it on Saturday instead SpaceX you have to be careful how you say that you have to be careful how you say space X <laughs> because it sounds like you're saying space sex which it isn't by the way it is nothing to do with that but I am interested in astronomy I like looking up into the sky I like looking up at the stars at night counting all of the stars and I'm still doing it I'm still counting those stars because there are so many of them apparently there are more stars in the sky than there are grains of sand on the beach it blows your mind it really does hello to Sujin hello also flower yes I will be watching the launch of the space X rocket not SpaceX space X I've always wanted to go into space but I've heard that it's not much fun because there's no atmosphere <laughs> can we have some laughter there where's my laughter come on I've always wanted to go into space but people say up there there is no atmosphere <laughs> that's better thank you very much I appreciate your laughter thank you very much even though I had to ask for it <sighs> hello Emily or oh, Emil Emilio hello Emilio nice to see you as well yes I think they are going to try and launch the rocket tomorrow they are going to go up into space tomorrow hopefully and just afterwards apparently here in the UK we can see it so as it takes off as it goes up into space we can actually see it here in the UK it will pass over the UK which I'm quite surprised and a little bit excited about as well hello Artsby hello Belarusia hi Belarusia I did see you earlier but I didn't say hello so I'm saying hello to you now I hope you don't mind that Vitas is here as well why do the British love citrus and oranges so much I'm not sure well not everyone eats oranges in the UK <laughs> some people don't eat fruit at all they eat no fruit whatsoever would you like to play a little game we are going to play a little game I really do wish the Sun would stop burning my feet I'm standing here in the shade however my feet are in the sunlight and they are burning I can feel my feet actually burning <laughs> it would appear these days 
that it's very hard to escape the sunlight wherever you go <laughs> yes English humor mr. Duncan English humor thank you very much I hope you appreciate my dry my dry sometimes sarcastic English humor thank you very much <coughs> Andy says <laughs> Andy said oh Andy star well that's interesting because your name sounds like perhaps you might want to go into space Andy says I had a dream that I visited the space station on the moon well they do reckon they believe that in years to come we will be living perhaps on the moon they think maybe buried beneath the surface of the moon there are lots of useful minerals and things that we can use here down on earth so yes who, who knows who knows what will happen but not at the moment unfortunately at the moment we don't have any space stations on the moon unfortunately they only exist in science fiction unfortunately here we go then it's time to play the game that a lot of people enjoy I've noticed a lot of people seem to like this particular game it is something that I've been doing for around three weeks it would appear to be quite popular and we are going to play it again today yes ladies and gentlemen <laughs> boys and girls it is time to play the sentence game are you ready I know one thing my feet are on fire they are burning <laughs> did you like that so finally I have some titles for the sentence game so I hope you enjoyed that I spent a long time this morning making that little video clip it takes a very long time to do that so now I've done it so here we go the sentence game is coming up we are going to play the sentence game for those who don't know what the sentence game is well first of all why not secondly I will I will tell you what it's all about so here we go we are going to play round one of the sentence game what I'm going to do as is I'm going to show you a sentence an English sentence however there will be some things missing in the sentence there will be some blanks some areas that have no word so the word in the sentence is missing what I want you to do is to try and guess or maybe come up with your own suggestion of what the missing words might be what are the missing words so that's it it's quite simple really it's not too difficult at all so here is the first sentence on today's sentence game are you ready I hope so so maybe you you might want to have a piece of paper nearby so you can write things down maybe you want to make some notes perhaps so here is the first sentence game for today after three one two three <gasps> yeah we have it and there it is today's first sentence game we have you blank go blank the party blank you must be blank by midnight so you can see there are some missing words there there and also there and there as well you see there they are so those are all the missing words I want you to put your missing words in that place not more than one word so each space is one word 
not more than one word just one word one word there one word there one word there and one word there I will give you a few moments to work out what it is what is today's first sentence game I will give you a few moments I'm not going to rush you today because a lot of people said mr. Duncan you do it too quickly you you do it too fast please mr. Duncan can you slow down so I will give you a few moments to look at the sentence and then you can work out what it is you can add the missing words hope that helped you a little bit of relaxing music and now I am back yes we are playing the sentence game today thank you very much for your company we are going to have round one you something go something the party something you must be something by midnight let's have a look have we had any suggestions Mansour you can go to the party you can can go to the party and you must be there by midnight yes I suppose if you are in a hurry to get there maybe you might have to be there by midnight so perhaps the party begins at midnight and it does happen some people do have very late parties that go on through the night much to the annoyance of the neighbors <laughs> but some people do have late parties so yes I suppose you can go to the party and you must be there by midnight you must be there thank you Mansour Zuzika says you can go to the party but but you must be back by midnight so in that case we are talking about returning so you can go but and when we say but we are saying that we are introducing a condition so I, uh, I will allow you to go, but <laughs> there is a condition. There is a caveat. You must be back by midnight. Beatrice, you can go to the party, but you must be there by midnight. So once again, you are saying that you must be at the party by midnight flower says you should go to the party and you must be there by midnight so yes you should maybe a person is not sure maybe you don't feel like going to the party but someone might say you should you should go yes you should 
go to the party you are saying that it is a good idea yes you should go to the party and you must be there by midnight Mauricio you can't go to the party because you must be working by midnight yes I suppose you could use that the grammar is slightly wrong but I think that would be acceptable in everyday English so in everyday English you can't go to the party that means you are not allowed you can't go to the party because you must be working by midnight you must be working by midnight normally we would say you will be working at midnight or by midnight so we wouldn't say you must be we normally say you will be you will be working by midnight or you might say you will be at work you will be at work by midnight or you will be working by midnight so that means you can't go to the party Stanislav you can go to the party but you must you must be back by midnight yes you can go to the party but you must be back by midnight so I like that there is a condition there you see you are introducing a condition you are allowing however there is a condition we often use the word caveat have you ever heard of that word caveat a caveat is something that you add as a condition for something to happen or maybe something not to happen perhaps you get a good deal however there is always a caveat there is always something you have to consider even if something seems like a really good offer or a really great deal quite often there is some sort of condition or caveat I like that word you should go to the party of course you must be back by midnight well I suppose I only have one word in that space but I know what you mean you are saying of course because once more you are introducing a conditional of course you must be back by midnight so that means I don't have to tell you I will say of course you must be back by midnight by that I am saying that I don't need to mention it you already know what I think you already know what I am thinking you can go but of course you must be back by midnight Anna Rita yes you can go to the party but you must be here by midnight oh yes that's okay you can go to the party but you must be here by midnight quite often we might say you can come to the party because the person saying it is already there so quite often we won't say go in that particular sense we will say come you can come to the party but you must be here by midnight and the reason why we use here is because I am waiting for you to come here so you can come to the party you can come to the party but you must be here by midnight hello Sujin you might go to the party maybe you must be staying by midnight or you you cannot be there after midnight 
so i think i think what you are saying sujin is the same thing you might go to the party maybe you must be staying by midnight or normally you will say staying until midnight you might go to the party well in that sense you're not sure so often when we say might it means we are not sure i might go to the party that means i'm not sure maybe i will maybe i won't i might might that means i am considering doing it i'm considering doing it <laughs> belarusia i really feel as if i want to come along to an argentinian wedding apparently in argentina weddings last until seven o'clock in the morning seven a.m argentinian weddings go on all night wow hello ricardo mr duncan you should do it as a kind of more difficult all people here know it <laughs> thank you ricardo can i just say one thing ricardo some people may not know the answer some people may be confused by the questions so not everyone finds it easy some people find it difficult so not everyone is here with a lot of english knowledge some people here like to come and practice their grammar and that's the reason why we do this so even though the sentences seem simple we are still exploring the grammar of those sentences and as we all know grammar is one of the hardest parts of learning english <sighs> no one likes grammar no one at all okay we've had that one shall we have another one maybe this one will be difficult who knows maybe the next one will be a little bit difficult so here is the next one we will see if ricardo gets it right uh -huh. oh okay then <laughs> come on ricardo let's see what you got let's see what you have there with your answer these blank i blank as if the blank are going by to blank there are a lot of missing words in that sentence these blank i blank as if the blank are going by to blank what do you think it is we are playing the sentence game and this is round two hello smart hi handsome duncan mm -hmm. thank you very much mm -hmm. i needed that lift today i feel so much better after that thank you ahmed says mr duncan you are right yes i'm i know i'm right because because i've been doing this for many years i understand that there are people who want to improve or practice or maybe look at the way sentences are created i think so it is too simple the phrase is it really though okay then let's see how well you do <laughs> flower espoir says when i was at university grammar and linguistics were my favorite subjects most people hate grammar most people hate grammar the other one i always remember in china the the other one that people hated were phonetics as well people used to hate phonetics they said phonetics is the most boring part that's what they used to say to me mr duncan please can you stop talking about phonetics it is so boring Kaiba says we love you a lot thank you that's very kind of you I'm not looking for compliments today but if you want to send them my way I will not complain too much thank you very much for your kindness that is very nice oh by the way 
last night we had a Chinese meal yes the Chinese takeaway is open again once more we can get our Chinese food in much Wenlock so we went along last night we had our Chinese food it was delicious I have really missed my chow mein I must be honest so we had a very nice meal last night everyone was very pleased to see the Chinese takeaway opening last night and yes we did have a Chinese meal very lovely it isn't as easy as you think it's for everybody yes I think all of my all of the things I do here on my live stream I try to aim everything to as many people as possible so maybe some things are a little easy some things are a little difficult it just depends sometimes things are easy and sometimes they are hard <laughs> oh dear Kaiba says please do not eat Chinese food because of them we are suffering thank you Kaiba well to be honest with you I don't really I don't really hold vengeance against anyone really I try not to it can make you a little bitter in your life so I don't think the lady who makes the ch the, the chow mein in much Wenlock I don't think she is responsible for anything all she is doing is trying to make a little living for herself and maybe she is trying to support her family back home so I will still go to my Chinese takeaway and I will still have my chow mein on Thursday that will continue I am not holding any grudge or vengeance against anyone to be honest with you I love Chinese food I really do like it very much <sighs> hello to Labib is this video for all levels thank you Labib yes you could watch this you can watch you can learn you can look you can study you can listen you can read there are so many things that you can do whilst my live stream is on and of course you can watch this again later as well so you can watch this a thousand times a million times if you want it is up to you Eric oh Eric has a suggestion these days I feel as if the teachings are going by too fast the teachings maybe can I make a suggestion maybe you, sh you should have the word lessons maybe you could put lessons these days I feel as if the lessons are going by too fast so yes maybe you are talking about my live streams a lot of people say Mr Duncan two hours it's not long enough I think Mr Duncan should do three hours or four hours I don't think so I don't think I could do four hours to be honest I think you would have to make sure that there was an ambulance outside my house just in case just in case I fall over and collapse on the lawn flyby says I only eat vegan Chinese food okay well the, the food I had last night was was vegetarian it wasn't meat there was no meat in my chow mein also there was no MSG as well you see sometimes Chinese food does have something called monosodium glutamate which is a kind of food flavoring however we also make sure that the food does not have that and yes I know sometimes the food can be very bland or tasteless however I still enjoy it I still enjoy the food Mika has a suggestion oh hello Mika says these days I feel as if 
the days are going by too fast maybe maybe I'm not talking about days maybe I'm talking about something else these days I feel as if the what are going by too fast quickly ah flower these days I feel as if the best moments well you have two words there you see two words two words I feel as if the best moments are going by too fast well I will allow that I will allow that okay I know my rules are quite strict some people say Mr Duncan your rules are too strict you are too strict sometimes <laughs> these days I feel as if the happy moments are going by too fast well you can't always have happiness in your life there is one thing I've learnt about this crazy thing called life sometimes you have to have a little bit of cloud a little bit of rain and then you appreciate the sunshine much more well that's what I think anyway that's what I think Caesar Caesar Atlantico says I love Chinese food me too I love Chinese food I like all types of food I like Indian food there are some lovely Indian restaurants very close to where I live in the area where I live there are many lovely Indian restaurants we also have Chinese restaurants we also have I think there is a Turkish restaurant as well I'm sure there is Italian <gasps> Italian food give me some lasagna give me some lasagna I want some lasagna I love lasagna by the way can you tell <laughs> I like lasagna very much these something I something as if the something are going by to something these words I see you've scribbled here are the kinds as if the little thoughts you have are going by too quickly these words I see you scribed here are, ki are kind as if that that's a lot of extra words you've put in there Sergio I must or so should I say Sergio hello artsy the rice I serve as the heaven are going by too rowdily how can you have rowdy rice rowdily if something is rowdy it means it is noisy you might say that it is another one of my strange English words rowdy rowdily something that is noisy chaotic rowdy Mr Duncan I recommend you remove oh I see thank you Kyber <laughs> thank you Kyber for your interesting instructions <laughs> I will see what happens I will see what happens Kyber <laughs> but I have no intention of, of, of making Mika go away from the moderator status I will be keeping Mika I will also be keeping Palmyra I will be keeping Belarusia I will be keeping Pedro Belmont I don't know what's happened to Pedro I haven't seen him a fly has just gone up my nose did you see the fly a fly a fly has just gone up my nose very annoying hello to the live chat now here is my suggestion these days I feel as if the weeks 
are going by too fast these days I feel as if the weeks are going by too fast or we could also say too quickly these days I feel as if the weeks are going by too quickly thank you very much fly or die also Sujin thank you very much for your answers we are going to round three <gasps> round three of the sentence game we, we will be going in around 15 minutes we have another round to play and here it is <laughs> some people are going to say Mr Duncan that's very easy some people will say Mr Duncan this is too easy if I something you I wouldn't something a word something says mm. the sentence game round three if I blank you I wouldn't blank a word blank says I don't think moderators can remove other moderators. <laughs> that would be a very strange situation, wouldn't it? If mo if moderators on my live chat could remove other moderators, because then there would be no moderators left because eventually they would all eat each other. Like Pac-Man. <laughs> like that. Hello, Ali. Asalan amazing lesson thank you very much that's very kind of you to say thank you for joining me if I something you I wouldn't something a word something says any idea would you like to add some <laughs> add some words to the sentence please thank you very much Anna Pico is here Hello, Anna. Nice to see you here. Better late than never. That's what we always say. I think so. By the way, I'm back on Sunday. So after today, I will be back with you on Sunday. For those who are wondering, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, 2 p.m. UK time is when I am on with you. So I will be back with you on Sunday. And yes, Mr. Steve will be here on Sunday. Apparently, the weather is going to be gorgeous, beautiful on Sunday. Hello, Mosin. If I were you, I wouldn't say a word to says. Hmm. You are half right. So I like the beginning of the sentence. You are right. If I were you, I wouldn't say a word to says. So that the grammar at the end, so the grammar there is a little off, unfortunately. However, the beginning of the sentence is very good. So if I were you. I wouldn't something a word something says so that is good that is half right half right hello also to Andy again if I if I will see you I wouldn't say a word to say can I just say your sentence I know what you are trying to say the grammar is slightly wrong if I were to see you today I wouldn't say a word I wouldn't say a word that means if I saw you today I wouldn't speak to you I would say nothing hello to 
hello artsby if i were you i wouldn't mind a word mrs <laughs> mrs sosi who is mrs sosi i'm now i'm now intrigued i want to find out who mrs sosi is is mrs sosi your neighbor is she <laughs> what has she done If I were you, I wouldn't believe a word he says. Oh, Christine Bro Capron. Oh, guess what? Yes, that's quite good. If I were you, I wouldn't believe a word he says. If I were you, I wouldn't believe a word he says. If I were you I wouldn't believe a word he says so that is what I am trying to express in this sentence if I were you if I were you or if I was you if I were you if I were you I wouldn't believe a word he says hello During the past couple of days, there are many baby blue tits, little chicks flying around. They have recently left their nests. They are flying around little baby blue tits. Very nice. Hello. I can hear you. I can't see you, but I can hear you. If I were you, I would not or I wouldn't believe a word she says oh yes of course so she says he says if I were you I wouldn't believe a word he or she says don't trust that person that sentence is saying do not trust that person if I were you I wouldn't believe a word she says I think we have time for one more maybe one more so here is another one <laughs> this one is very strange oh, okay then let's see what's going on here <laughs> we are playing the sentence game Oh my goodness, what is going on in this sentence? This sentence has. Hello. Huh. Did you see the baby blue tit? Uh, baby blue tit just landed right next to me. Did you see it fly by? It's now just around the corner. At this very moment, there are lots of little baby birds that have all left the nest and they are surrounding me. They are everywhere. It's amazing. <laughs> what a wonderful time of year. So here it is. This is the final sentence game for today before I leave you. And then I will be back on Sunday. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there are there are literally baby birds flying all around me. Lots of baby blue tips that have hatched out and they've left the nest amazing hello to Valentin if I awakened you I wouldn't hear a word it says okay we have a new sentence now there it is there is the new sentence something my new car something 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 my new car something something so as you can see, there is at the end of the sentence, there is an exclamation mark. Let me just try and point to it. So there you can see at the end of the sentence, there is actually an exclamation mark. And the reason why that is doing it is because. You are expressing an emotion. 
the exclamation mark shows some emotion in the sentence I am very aware of birds flying around <laughs> that was amazing I can't believe the little blue tit the chick landed right next to me I don't know if you saw it fly by but yes very lovely let's have a look we have one word at the beginning it's my new car disturbing other people that's too many words <laughs> there is one word and then two words at the end so there are only three words that you need to add get my new car before I park it that's too many words see you see this is difficult so now I am making you think more about the sentence because I need one word for each space <laughs> my poor foot one of my feet is literally burning <laughs> it's very painful but I will be going soon look oh Saeed says look my new car is beautiful look my new car is beautiful yes you are feeling very proud of your new car you feel excited and that is the reason why there is an exclamation mark at the end of the sentence because you are feeling very happy very excited by your new car wow look my new car is beautiful and yes that does fit in the sentence yesterday my new car was washed yes it was washed yesterday my new car was washed I don't know why you have an exclamation mark at the end of that sentence maybe you are a person who doesn't normally wash your car so perhaps you could sound surprised or excited because finally you are going to wash your car Hmm. It is difficult, Mr. Duncan. I have a problem with sentences. Would you describe it one day for us? Well, there are many ways of forming or constructing sentences. It is a big subject. And that is one of the reasons why we have grammar. The grammar rules. Today, my new car will be polished. But there are two words, not three. Two words, not three. How my new car, how my new car is amazing. That's really not good grammatically. So grammar, the grammar in that sentence is not very good. I will give you my suggestion. Maybe... You have been waiting for your car to be delivered. Ah, maybe you have ordered a new car and you've been waiting very patiently for many weeks. And suddenly outside your house, you see the delivery. Your new car is being delivered to your house <gasps> and you get so excited. You say... Finally, my new car has arrived. Yes. So you are expressing excitement because your car has arrived. Finally, my new car has arrived. Or you can say, finally, my new car is here. Finally, my new car is here. So we can use the word finally as an expression of excitement finally finally my new car has arrived my new car is here so you are expressing 
excitement. You are expressing excitement. Finally, my new car has arrived. My new car is here. So you can see how quickly and how easily you can express even the most deepest feeling excitement anger you don't need to use many words in the sentence to express your feelings so you can see that sentence does not have many words however it expresses everything that I want to say finally my new car has arrived <gasps> Ooh, I can't wait to drive my new car look my new car is here ah very good see Neuralan well done Neuralan now you are starting to think about the way the words are added to the sentence finally my new car is here that is it so yes that is a good way of constructing the sentence and also you are expressing yourself as well in a very excited way you are using emotion you are using your feelings to express how you feel at that moment finally my new car is here yes finally we have reached the end of today's live stream we have it's almost time to say goodbye I hope you've enjoyed the past two hours I will be back with you on Sunday for those who are wondering yes these are the times when you can catch me Sunday Wednesday Friday 2 p.m. UK time and don't forget also if you want to give me a little like and also maybe subscribe you can do that as well so if you want to like me subscribe to me feel free you are more than welcome to do so I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson I hope you have enjoyed everything that has happened today including my left foot burning I think my sock is about to burst into flames because the Sun has been shining on my on my foot for, for nearly two hours oh dear not very good see you later says Haile Kwang see you later Haile Kwang catch you later thank you Karan Kareem for your guests thank you very much for joining in very nice goodbye Mr Duncan take care of yourself I always try to take care of myself whatever it is I'm doing wherever I'm going whatever I'm participating in taking part participating doing I always try to stay safe even when the flies are biting my legs as they are now because I'm wearing my shorts today ah you didn't know that did you I am actually wearing my shorts Ooh. would you like to see my legs just for a brief moment I am going to show you my legs so let it let's have a look at my legs before I go and then we will definitely say goodbye
it is time definitely time to go see you on sunday this is mr duncan in the birthplace of english saying thanks for watching see you on sunday 2 p.m uk time thanks for your company thank you for dropping by for a while and i will see you later and of course until the next time we meet here on youtube this is mr duncan saying Take care, stay safe, and of course, ta-ta for now.